Hello friends. In this session, we are going to understand fundamentals of projection and then how projections are managed by open layers. So to understand the fundamentals, let me take you to one of the blog that is published by GIS Simplified. It explains the projection in detail. So projection is nothing but a mathematical formula that converts three dimensional earth surface or a globe into a two dimensional flat surface that is a map. So basically it is a mathematical formula, but to understand how it works. So let us understand the projection with this uh, diagram. Here we have bulb at the center of the globe and the earth surface or the globe is covered with a cylindrical paper. Now when we light the bulb, the light will come out from the bulb. It will fall on the surface of the globe and then the shadow of the land parcels will fall on the cylindrical paper. Now when we mark these shadows, land parcels, water bodies, then when we cut the cylindrical paper, it will become a flat map like this. So this kind of a projection system is called cylindrical projection system. So UTM is one of the example of cylindrical projection system. Now instead of cylindrical paper, if we take a conical paper, then it becomes a conical projection system. And instead of a cone, if we put a plane paper at the north and south pole, then it becomes a planar projection system. So there are basically three different types of projection. Now none of the projection is perfect. Why? Because when we project something from three dimensional surface to a two dimensional flat surface, it did distorts one or the other properties. These properties can be a shape, distance, direction, size. So any of these properties will be distorted. So if you can see over here, if the feature is at the center of the earth, means it is around the equator, the distortion will be relatively less. But if the feature is away from the equator and around the pole, then the distortion will be relatively higher. So let me explain you this thing with the example. So we'll come back to our open layer web page that we have developed. Now we'll go to the coding part. And here on the top, we have set center coordinates with the latitude and longitude or say x and y coordinates. So we'll change this x and y coordinates with 0 comma 0. So our web page will be at the center of the center meridian and I'll change the zoom to 1. Now let me save it and let us see the page. So this is how it is coming up. Now to understand the difference of shape in different projection, let us concentrate on this land parcel. So the shape of this land parcel is somewhat like this. The length or the height is higher than the width. Now open layers provide me the opportunity to change the projection. So let us see in the documentation. When I go to oval.map, let me show you here oval.map. And let us see. So here in oval.map we will go to view and in the view we have projection right. So this is where the projection is and the default projection if you can see it is EPSG 3857 that is a spherical mercator projection. So the shape of the land parcel is right now based on the EPSG 3857 projection, spherical mercator projection. Now I am changing the projection. So let me uncomment this thing. So now from EPSG 3857 we are changing the projection to EPSG 4326. That is nothing but a geographic projection. Let me save this document and now let us go back to the web page and now you can see the shape of the same land parcels. Now width looks comparatively more than the height of the land parcels. So this is how you can see that the shape of the feature is distorted. So different projection have different kind of a distortion. At the equator if you see the distortion is comparatively lesser whereas at the north and south pole the distortion is much higher. So we have to select the projection that is best suitable and meeting our requirement based on the geography that we are located. So if I am located somewhere here in the India, I would select UTM projection. But here if, if I am located somewhere around the North Pole, then I have to select the appropriate projection. Now let us see how the coordinates are different. So let me comment this line 
and then when we see the coordinates map coordinates so let me take you to this code here what we are doing is on the map click event we are just logging the coordinates wherever user is clicking so now let me take you to the website and then let me open the console now whenever i am clicking here it will print the x and y coordinates so right now it is you know default projection that is spherical mercator so x and y coordinates are in meters so you can see like this so wherever i'll click it will print out x and y coordinates so this is uh, these are the x and y coordinates now when i change the projection let us change the projection to epsg 4326 let me save it now when i look at the click coordinates let me click somewhere and you can see over here minus 9 to plus 15 so right now it is plotting latitude and longitude right instead of x and y coordinates so this is the difference so as soon as we change the projection the coordinate that we get from the map the way we interact with the map will also change so this is how wherever we click it is plotting latitude and longitude but remember that this is not latitude and longitude it is longitude and latitude so it is not lat long it is long lat open layers provide the coordinate in terms of long lat so these are longitude and latitude so this is the difference so uh, open layer supports different types of projection in the next session we are going to see how to assign different types of projection by default it supports epsg 3857 and epsg 4326 if we want to have any other type of projection we have then we have to include them in the code and we have to register them we will see in the next session see you soon